What's up, everybody? Ooh, Joan of Arc. I love Joan of Arc. Voice of truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Okay, so tapping into the collective energy today, I automatically felt um, a sense of balance. Also, um, in shuffling the different decks that they had me get ready for this reading, um, Lord Ganesh, Ganesh, however you say it, um, popped out, which, you know, is the remover of obstacles, right? And then also the emperor, the empress, the king and queen of cups. Okay. So, um, it all is just speaking to me of balance. So, uh, there's, they're, they're saying an insistence on, uh, taking control of your life but in a more balanced way, in a more uh, compassionate way. It's not so much like, um, okay, they're saying something about wheels in motion. All right. It's about, um, is the King of Cups, you know, he, he is in control of his emotions. <coughs> yeah. There's definitely, I feel like words that need to be said. Yeah. Look, a lot of you are going through major transformational time right now. Okay. I'm, I'm talking like you could literally like wake up one day and just be like, why the fuck have I been doing that? Like, or just like with an idea of how to do something differently, you know, like that's just, I don't know. That's, I feel like if that message is for you, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to go into it. Yeah. Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Exactly. And I feel like, yeah, they're saying there's a release. Like the more in control the uh, because this is by control. I mean, your control is of your reaction and your response to different behaviors from other people. I feel like there's, um, you know, this working together, learning how to work with others. Okay. Even people that you don't like, but still being, um, uh, not fake, but actually wanting to, it's like coming from this place of compromise. Okay. And this kind of came through yesterday in the little, um, reading that I was like, you know, that I wrote up. Um, but, um, yeah, this is big. See, it says Dharma unfolding. Remembering that you are on a path, take one step at a time to happiness. Because, yeah, they're saying there's, it's like understanding that you have this purpose, but it's like, because they're showing me the emperor and the empress. So it's like taking charge of your, of your life, but in the way of, um, embracing the universe's timing for it, God's timing. Okay, this is how like the Empress energy comes in. So you're, it's like you're receiving, it's like as you, the more you release control, the more in control of your life you feel. And then as you're, I hope this is making sense. It's not going to make sense for all of you, but, but um, there are those of you that know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's as you're like releasing this control, you are opening yourself up to receiving assistance. I feel like people and situations and objects and opportunities will just start to present themselves to you um, that will open you up to your purpose, your divine purpose. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So, but it's big. There's like this big balance between it's not so much being in control as in like being a, yeah, see, look, here's the three of pentacles. See, and here's the information. Here's the good news. There's something coming in. I feel, and I feel like more than one thing. I feel like as you take each step, it, it's like a path unfolds. Yeah. Supreme protection. You're protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitations. Trust. And that's what I feel that you're doing. Yeah, there's like some sort of release happening. Like, like, like now they're showing me like a puppet on a string. Look, faith, humanity and benevolence. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world. 
and light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Yeah, heart awakening. Awakening to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive and balance. Exactly. See, this is, depending on where you are, because I feel like there's, you guys are like all on like different um, levels here. Of, of They're saying, I'm interpreting this and processing this. Look, I feel like some of you are just beginning to tap into your true power, okay? Embracing it, um, acknowledging it, getting comfortable with it. Because, like, when you understand that you are working with the universe, that you are one with the universe, and 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 you can literally create whatever it is that you want, that's huge. Yeah, see, the wheel is turning. I feel like things are about to pick up because you're having this awareness. See, and even this. It's like you're waking up to your to your true path. Your past is being released. And I feel like this has been a process that we've all been building up to, right? I mean, at least it's been coming through in the readings, um, in the collective readings, as well as like even in the personals, you know, like, you know, I know that um, in the personals, like the personals get freaking deep, man. And anybody that's had a personal, you know, like y'all are doing work right? Like, I mean, serious freaking spiritual growth happening. Okay. And y'all are helping me just as much as you say that I'm helping you, you know, it's, um, it's a two way street. I can't do this without you. You know, it's like, we're all in it together. I mean that. All right. What's the main focus here for the collective today? What is this main focus? Yeah, see, this is this is it. This is like moving forward with passion. Okay, this is the good news coming in. Look, you see, this is sun. That's the happiest card in the deck. But this is also about healing. And I also feel like whatever this insight is, whatever this awareness is, it's like once it comes in, it's like it speeds up your healing process. It's like all of a sudden things that like burdened you for possibly even like all your adult life, you know just suddenly get cast aside or at least there's an opportunity here for that to happen yeah see there's there's some sort of healing going on massive healing like somebody this oh somebody's recuperating okay i feel like also um you were slowed down on purpose to see things from a different perspective and 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 it's because um I feel somebody wasn't seeing their part. So God needed to slow you down. And this is what, this is how, how they did it. But now it's like now with the awareness, because like, you see how this person has their hand on their forehead, like, Oh God, you know, but whatever this old behavior was or whatever this old thought process was that kept you stuck in a cycle with other people or possibly just one person, it's being released. It's like, don't feel, I don't want to say don't. It's just like, the the purpose is for you the purpose of you being shown your side or your part is not to make you feel guilty but to let you feel less afraid about moving forward to see your part so that um you see that you aren't above whoever else like because I, I feel like there's like some sort of argument going on but this is like it's giving you an opportunity to work on yourself to perfect yourself okay although we'll, we're never going to like amount to like perfection, but also work with this other person. They're also saying there's another way to present yourself. Okay. So I feel like in this stillness, it's like you've been slowed down to slow down. So God can step in and tell you something. So and at first it might feel like a, like a knee jerk to the gut. Okay. But again, they're saying don't get stuck in that. Okay. Because that's just like self pity and that's like your ego. And it's not about that. They're showing you this, this side of yourself so that you can see it 
process it and release it and move forward and, and stop responding like that. Whatever it is that you're doing or saying or, you know, you're going to know whatever it is. I feel like it's some sort of thought process. Yeah. So there was like some sort of, um, you know, uh, they're, what they're saying is something about like, well, I did this. So it's like somebody's keeping tabs. Like, it's like, well, I did this. So you should do that. And I, did, and then like, that's not how love works. Okay. Love is unconditional. And you do just because you want to do, it's not because you're doing, uh, okay. Okay. This is little, let me just get this out. All right. So it's like, you, you don't just like do to get something you do because it's like coming from your heart space because you want to do it. Um, and I feel like this was, yeah, they're saying it's a generational pattern. It's been passed down to you, but it's like, it's stopping with you. Um, so, but I feel like whoever's seen that they've been doing this and like, they're waking up to their, their, um, being so controlling, um, because they've always just seen themselves as like a, you know, a gracious person, a, a godly person, a, you know, they're seeing their side and they're kind of feeling like shit about it. But, um, that's not, again, they're, yeah, see, it's for your healing. Okay. Don't, don't ignore this. Okay. This is an opportunity for you to release this burden because see before you weren't, you weren't looking like you never looked at yourself because you, you are a good person. Okay. But, but all of us have like issues that we have to work on, you know, if forever, like nobody's ever going to achieve perfection. Okay. That would mean, I, I don't even know what that would mean. That would mean that you don't really see other people, right? Because <laughs> how else could you be perfect? But, um, yeah, see, here's the healing and the balance. Yeah. I'm hearing recuperation. Somebody was always, 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 always on the go. Busy, 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 busy. And so all they could ever do was like notice when other people like messed up their plans in their day or whatever. And so then like what they didn't realize is that staying constantly busy was keeping them from facing their own, own shit. Okay. It's like something that you've kept hidden from yourself, but do you, you know, this, um, this, there's a, there's a big healing coming in here. Okay. Like it says here. Supreme protection. Okay. You're, you're, you are protected. Cords are being cut. Okay. So this, this, this is ending. Yeah. And see her third eye. You're getting the awareness. You're getting the clarity. You're waking up. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody's waking up to the truth of a situation. Yeah. See, and I, I was just about to say, and they're about to move forward. So this person, whoever, whoever's relating to this, it's like, you may have kept yourself at a distance from somebody, you know, um, but somebody's made a decision here. There's, there's a decision here. Yeah. Look, see, for some of you, this is definitely about love. I'm hearing some people like they're in partnerships and they're deciding to end it. Some people are deciding to give it one more try. Um, it's different for everybody, but for some of you, you had three, three people that you were choosing between and somebody's made a decision. And there's like guilt attached to it. There's like guilt attached to this decision. Okay. So this is like a separate, it's like who, who's ever choosing, they have guilt because of the part they played in the relationship with others, something like that. But these cords are being cut. Like these people, there's some people that just made just, they're saying dissipate, like completely disappear from your life. Like you will never hear from them again. Like everybody's moving on. Everybody's. Yeah. So if like you, you had to end a relationship, it's like that person, um, whoever's like been hard to walk away from or 
or wouldn't let you walk away. It's like they're finally releasing. Like, 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 like they said, it's like everybody's being watched over. Everybody's getting like what they deserve and, and going to end up with, um, what they, everybody's going to end right, end up right where they belong. I'm just going to put it like that. Yeah, see, because because I'm I'm feeling like there's some there's I'm hearing the words manipulation like there's there's somebody here that's understanding their toxic thought process. Okay, they're seeing their patterns of like how they've manipulated situations, how they've like I feel like some people have um yeah see look here's this conflict like somebody's like really in their head about it. All right. Yes. And see how everybody's like wearing mask and, but this is being released. You're, be, you're being broken free. Like for some of you, it's like, there's somebody that just like constantly wreaks havoc in your life. Like just constantly is fighting with you and, and you guys are kind of addicted to fighting with each other. And, um, it's like you fight like, like really, really nasty. And then, you might have like really super passionate sex, but it's like totally toxic for 99% of the time. And it's like, but you're seeing your part in this and it's helping you to walk away. But the other person is seeing their part in this too. Okay. So it's like, everybody's being healed from it and, and walking away. <sighs> like these ties are being broken here. Okay. Yeah, see, everybody's starting over, okay? Ground zero. Being set free. Some of you are moving, like, from the country to the city or vice versa to the city for, to the country. Or it's like you've moved. Like, wherever wherever you were before, you're moving to the, like, the absolute opposite. Yeah, see, look, again, there's some sort of love offer, but I also feel like it's pertaining to just opening up in general to love. And satisfaction, that's what they're saying. All right, is there anything else from this deck that we need to know? Four of Pentacles. I just heard save your money, okay? And somebody, um, yeah, see, Six of Pentacles. I feel like um, they're saying to... Um, Okay, so somebody, there's somebody, there's something here about somebody's afraid to move because of their money. It's like they're, they're trying to save their money to move. All right. Or they think they can't move. They're wondering if they should take the risk because they don't have as much money as they anticipated. And I feel like you're like, I'm being guided to tell you to take the risk. Yeah. See, look, Empress, it's like, it's like invest in yourself. Yeah, somebody like really needs to, um, I'm hearing stand up for yourself. It's like, do what you want to do. Tell me about this four of pentacles. Cause somebody's literally holding back here. They're scared. They're holding on to what they know, like crazy when the universe is pushing them like and they can feel the push. You can feel the push. Whoever this is that, that you're supposed to just give into this. Yeah, see? And move on from, like, the conflict. Because somebody is, like, really in their head and just really, like, it's like you're just addicted to fighting. Okay? But but then it, it also drains you. And you're becoming aware of just how much it's draining you. And so... The real lesson here is for you to take the high road, to see this from a different perspective. See, and this is this keeps coming up in in readings. It, it's come up. It's it's about this whole. Um, I'm going to show you. They're telling me to show you, so we'll just do this really quick, and then I'll close out the. Yeah, here it is because it's still at the top. Okay, so I was doing a personal reading a couple days ago, 
and and this like so everybody here is seeing this person here right but everybody's seeing her from a different point of view and it's like this is what the universe is asking you to do whoever this is it's like they're asking you to see the situation from a different point of view from a higher perspective to see that like to see it from your other person's point of view to see it from that other person's point of view like because I feel like there's just like this fucking drama. I don't know. Just like there's some, uh, there's just this attachment. There's just something you could be fighting with like five people. Like this could be a family situation, something like that. And like everybody is just like bickering over something, but it's exhausting. It's exhausting to someone. Okay. And, and someone it's made somebody sick. Like this is why the universe has slowed you down. Okay. Because you're the one that is being called to step up in this situation and see it from an, a completely different point of view and to take action accordingly, okay? I feel like the longer that you sit in silence and just allow God to speak to you, um, the more open you will become to like receiving. Like I feel like you'll get your answer like either through somebody else or maybe you'll be reading something, you know, possibly you get like the awareness like just from watching this, I don't, I don't know, but, um, you're the one that's experiencing the, the heartache or the discomfort because you're the one that's meant to change it. You're the only one that can change it. Let's see. Look, all choosing your path, all is possible. Yeah. See, I'm telling you, like, I feel like there's some sort of guilt attached to whatever decision it is that you want to make. And I feel like somebody's been trying to make somebody else happy and it's instead of themselves. Okay. And, um, or they're con more concerned about everybody else. Okay. And the thing is, is that everybody's going to see it however they want to see it. And so it's like, you can't really change it. Like this person over here can't change, tell this person that what she's seeing isn't, isn't right. You know what I'm saying? Or isn't true because this person is seeing it like this, but this person is seeing it like this. So it's like, everybody just kind of has to do their own thing. You know, you have to just live your life. Yeah, I'm hearing just live your life. Uh, the TI song, live your life. But, um, and just be okay that, yeah, listen, if you want your dreams to come true, you have to go after your dreams. Okay. This isn't about like looking like the best or anything. It's, it's, it's about a level of comfort. Like, cause somebody's very uncomfortable wherever they are. You're feeling it. I mean, somebody is, is hurting. Okay. You're hurting on the inside. Some of you are literally like recuperating from either like, like some sort of health issue or something like that. But it's like, um, this is all happening to slow you down long enough to see things from a different point of view. Yeah. Reflect and redirect your energy. Exactly. Because I feel like somebody has been pushing and pushing and pushing for something to go a certain way. And it's just not, your way. Yeah. It's a time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing, crossing a bridge. So I'm hearing trust house, clean. What is it? Trust God, clean house, help others. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Yeah. See, it's just about being still long enough to understand that the answers are all inside you. Look, see, fogged in, go slow, take your time. There's not a rush, all right, to do this. But before you can move forward like this, or before there's an allowance of this, like this freedom to just do as you choose, there is something that has to be released. There is something that possibly needs to be said. There's a change. Somebody already knows what they want to do. Okay. But there's like, there's an, there's an attachment of some sort to the, to the release of whatever's behind them. But, but 
you are, look, it says you are protected. It says you are protected. Cords are being cut, move beyond limitations and trust. So trust that your decision is what's best for you. Okay. And, um, yeah, they're saying in spite of what anybody else might think. See, faith. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, and see the light in the world. So I feel like you're being asked to trust others and trust that you can make good decisions for yourself. Instead of envisioning the worst possible scenario, faith is about knowing that the good is going to come from like whatever, because somebody's in a storm here, okay? Somebody's in a storm, you're, you're hurting, you're in your head, totally stressed out. I feel like this is, I just heard, you're always on my, my, whatever, you're always on, I can't, I can't sing the way I heard it, but, um, you don't have to do this, look, expect miracles, expect the wondrous to emerge, there you go, guys, all right, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful reading, look, blessings are showing your life, it's perspective change, okay, there's a major perspective change, and, um, I do feel like good news is coming in, and it's possibly going to help with this whole like wheel turning, because I do feel like the wheel is turning here. Yeah, see, you're creating, opening up to love. This four of cups, page of wands. Yeah, see, there's communication happening. There's like a rebirth or there's an ending, but that it, it's also opening up this new opportunity. See, there's the chariot. See, this movement forward. That's a card of victory, the world. That's closing out a cycle. And then the Ace of Swords, cutting the past behind, it's standing in your truth, knowing your truth, speaking your truth. Yeah, it could, in regards, it's like working on something. Look, whatever you're doing with your work is going to bring you extreme financial success and stability. So stop staying stuck. Yeah, see, somebody's stuck about heartache. Look, and here's this Ace of Cups. We've literally seen three Aces, okay? So somebody could be writing a book. Or supposed to write a book maybe you're gonna get an idea for a book okay it's gonna help you move forward it's gonna help with the release yeah this is um yeah I just feel success but it comes after a shift of perspective Okay, so be still. And know that I just heard be still and know that I am God. <laughs> All right. I love you. Have an amazing day.